Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be making ourselves a Coke oven and also getting the Tinker's Construct smeltery up and running. All right, guys, so in between episodes, I did quite a bit. Um, I went back to the nether and I decided to gather up a bit more glowstone than we already had. Um, I ended up getting more blaze powder because of more, or there was more of those random randomite ores um, that I went scavenging for. I did get some coal. Um, I did notice that there was a slime island directly where my portal is, and I I can't believe I missed that. Um, I traveled a really long distance to be able to find that slime island, and it was out in the middle of a lava pit. This one was not. Um, it is literally right after we come out of the portal to our right, there is um, that. Uh, also, I made these obsidian heat cables, and uh, they seem to be doing a pretty good job let me look in here yeah um, they're not catching on fire so this is pretty slow I can break these and then replace them and it makes it go a little bit faster because uh, it has to reheat these cables but uh, they are they do they, they will not melt at this temperature like this is going up to like 1500 degrees or something like that um, and these melt at 2000 so 2000 C so that's something I don't have to really worry about now um, I just have it come with four, so I just put four going straight up. I know it looks really goofy, but um, I did try curving them as well. But it seems like this disperse, disperses the heat better. I don't know how exactly that works, but uh, it does work better. And this one doesn't melt, so we don't have to worry about that. Also, I've been cooking up netherrack brick, of course, coming from netherrack. And since I did not find a fortress, and I also made some seared brick, all of which we're going to need today. And then we're also going to need this slime right here. And we're also going to need the blaze powder and, of course, the magma cream. All of that we're going to need. And uh, we can go ahead, I guess, and get started with a bit of this today. This will be probably done by the time we get some of this crafting done. Um, I was looking around. Um, I could get started into RF already. Um, there is a survivalist generator which I have used before it's very slow don't get me wrong it's a very slow generator um, but it is power and it does get you basic power now um, getting cabling is another issue I mean unless you put this up against something directly um, you're not going to be able to get any power out of it now the only other way to get power at the moment that I've seen um, that's within range of early game is going to be uh, immersive engineering and immersive engineering of course has these uh, cables right here you use the uh, LV low voltage wire connectors pretty simple recipe and then you're gonna need the relays or not yeah you're gonna need the not the relays you're gonna need the uh, wire connector and the wire relay here yes uh, the low voltage not the medium voltage where's the low voltage low voltage wire connector low voltage relay there we go um, so yeah those are pretty easy to make those will get you that's that's what you're gonna run your cabling through and uh, use it to power but you can't get your LV wire coils yet but you will be able to we will be getting into that really soon um, that's gonna be really really soon coming up so the uh, the copper wire there this is showing this is the only way to get this is through the metal press so we can't do that because we can't make the metal press because we don't have RF to power it. But we can make copper cables because getting into um, industrial craft looks rather cheap. But um, before we can get into um, industrial craft, uh, we need to get bronze. So we have to get a Tinker's Construct table up and running. Um, and also have the nether brick because we're going to get a coal coke oven up and running as well today. Um, all of which should be easily obtainable. In today's episode after doing um, everything that we've done in the previous videos so we'll just keep that in mind let me actually take this split it up in between three there we go now that works okay so while that's also uh, cooking up and getting us more seared bricks let's go ahead and get into tinkers And, it, and always it seems like the Tinker's Construct stuff is at the very end of the 33 page list. Um, so we have some seared bricks that we're definitely going to need to make. I know that. 
but the main thing I want to get is a smeltery controller. Now the smeltery controller requires this uh, slimy mud to get this crystal, which we all have access to. Um, right here is our soul sand and netherrack. So we should easily be able to make that stuff. And then we'll just get a couple of the slime balls out of our slime here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this. That's just one for now. Um, it says slows, but lets you jump even higher. Okay, so I don't know. We just want the crystal out of it. That's going to allow us to make the controller. And you can't do anything with Tinkers without the controller. Awesome. And I think that's the only thing that really requires this. Uh, the other things that require the um, the slimy dirt or whatever it's called, this stuff. Where is it at? Again. This stuff, the, uh, yeah, the magma mud. The slimy magma mud. Um, the only thing else I can think of that uses it... This, of course, makes this, and then this is made, uh, it makes a coke brick, so it makes a coke oven. And uh, you're going to need ash stone, and ash stone is really easy to make because we already got the um, cinder plith up and running. So I've been making quite a bit of ash, I think it's down here, ash, and I also used it to make all of this grout because, as you know, as I've said in the previous episodes, um, grout can be made with it, pretty sure, uh, right here ash piles and you just I had stacks of everything so I just made an entire stack worth and so as you can see four stacks of grout um, alright so we're almost done with this that's all filled up let me go ahead and go back in there um, we need to go ahead and get we already have the, the faucet we already have the casting table um, we might need a casting basin later not too concerned about it at the moment we are gonna need actually a couple of smeltery drains I want two drains, that way I can uh, put more stuff in it if I want to. Um, I can put water and stuff and get obsidian, water, water and uh, lava to get myself obsidian pretty easy. You know what, let's go ahead and make a casting basin. Alright, so we also need that other faucet, uh, or smeltery drain, there we go. Just to go ahead and complete this, we'll have three of them ready to go. Um, we also need a seared tank, which requires some glass, so we're getting into the glass part. I do have some glass right in here. Awesome. Um, yeah, the tank. It's going to hold our lava for us. And I, you know what? We can go ahead and make... I think I'm going to make it this one three tall. I don't know if I need a gauged one or just a seared window. I'm just going to make the gauged one. Why not? Oh, actually, I need three of those. Three of the seared gauge tanks. There we go. And that's going to set three high. That's just going to let me see into it. That's just a cosmetic thing. No need for that. But uh, I kind of want that. Okay. I'm, I wonder if the Tinker's Construct seared bricks work if they look different like this. If they're done, um, say, like, after you've cooked it, if you've done this. Just says safe for decoration, so I, I don't know. All right, so we already have a casting table. We already have the, all that stuff. Um, the seared faucet, or seared furnace controller. The tank. Okay. Um, okay, let's... I don't like this crafting table being here, because anytime anything happens in this furnace, it kicks me out of the crafting recipe over here. Um, it should be done now, but... Um, it's what it was doing. Uh, okay, so everything else, I guess we can turn um, turn a whole stack of this into the bricks. We're probably going to need more than that, though. Two stacks. Turn it to bricks. Because we have everything, I'm pretty sure. That's everything we need. We need another faucet, I think. But, I mean, a faucet's nothing. That's only three. And that's just for our casting basin. Now, putting this somewhere, that's going to be another thing. Um, and I'll figure that out when we come back. All right, so I was using this area to get purple slime. Um, to get purple slime, I don't know if, if any of you guys know this, but you place um, down your slime, and you place down that purple sapling, and you just break it, and then when the leaves break, you have a chance of getting a purple slime. So um, that's just what I was doing, and uh, I was just bone milling a bunch of them, and it was actually working quite nice. 
And uh, yeah, that's just how I was doing it. Okay, so our smeltery, I guess we can put it back over here. Things will change, things will be moved, so I'm not too concerned about exactly where things are going to go at the moment. So, you know, don't criticize me about my base being ugly at the moment. Um, things will happen, things will get moved. Can't really do much um, when everything early game is gated, so it's kind of hard to to get stuff situated. But um, I kind of want to get this set up, give it enough room so we can automate it. And where do I want to put my controller? I can put my smelter controller anywhere. Um, so the main thing I want to get out is my faucets. Two faucets right here. You know what? This honestly doesn't even seem the best. I think I'm going to put the faucets on this side. Um, it's just too cramped over there, to be honest. The faucets will go right here. And then down here, of course, will go our casting basins and our casting table. All that good stuff. Everything we need will go down there. All right. Put our drains on there. Casting basin, you go always go on this side. And then in the middle, we can put our drain right here. Another drain to pump stuff into it if we need be. Okay, so that's done. Let's go ahead and add our tank. And then right on top, we're going to put our smeltery controller right here. And the rest should be seared bricks. And then we also will have our window here. And I think I'm going to make sure this block under here is that way. That way, when this is placed, you can see through it. Or you can see that there's actually brick down at the bottom. And I hope I have enough brick because it might, it may not. If not, I will easily be able to make more. That's enough for this size, for a two tall one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some more. And this thing's eventually going to get huge. So I'm not too concerned about it. At the, oh, there we have another stack of grout. So yeah, this guy, is, we're just going to split this up. And bam, we'll have enough by the end of the episode to get this thing full-sized. But yeah, for right now, it still works. It's still doing its job. We're just working on building it up. And as you see, we have our lovely controller. The taller we make it, the more slots we're going to get, so that's going to be helpful. Now we can actually make stuff in there. Um, next step, let's go ahead and work on making a Coke oven. So, the coke brick, that's where we're going to need some ash, and so we're going to need blocks of concrete. Bags of concrete, um, we need the uh, nether quartz for, which is pretty nice, but uh, we're also going to need buckets of water to make this stuff. And I think one might actually get us all, no, we're probably going to need two, and we're going to need rebar. Rebar is just iron. Okay, so we, we should have just about everything. I think I can actually get rid of the soul sand, I only need... I'll come back for it when I need... Actually, let's go ahead and get one. One. We can go ahead and make our... Yeah, we're going to need, need a couple of those, actually. Let me just go ahead and make how many we're going to need. Um, 32, we actually only need 27. So four, four of these guys... And let's just clear this out. Just throw that in something else. Let those cook while we work on everything else. Okay. So let's get that. We can work on the bag of concrete. That's kind of what I want to get done right now. And getting rebar. Is that the right thing? No. Okay, that looked like it was rebar. Rebar. Iron. Oh, it says metal rolling. What is this? Machine for rolling various shapes of metal if there is only enough items to grind. Is this part of this part of railcraft? Copper gear. This is new to me. Um crafting bench for various metal items. Okay. Um I guess we can easily make this stuff. This doesn't seem hard. 
Okay. Looks like we just need uh, some flint. Some obsidian. I don't know how much obsidian we actually need. I didn't even look at this. I right, this totally skipped me up. Yeah, I didn't even... Manual rolling machine. Okay. Yeah, just one. We only need one, one section of it. Rolling machine. Uh, sticky pistons. Pistons, easy. Come on. Come on, you can go harder than that. Uh, cobblestone, some wood. Let's just get some wood. A little bit more than wood than what we have. We have, of course, redstone. We have blocks of redstone, so I'm not too concerned about that either. Um, the sticky pistons, so we just need uh, some balls. Just some balls. Okay. And, of course, this is doing that same thing. There's that. That means three, oh, three sticky pistons. Or regular pistons. Oh, I guess it just doesn't matter. Regular crafting table. Um, red nether block. Well, this is going to be an issue. Well, this whole time I did not know there was a nether fortress right by my spawn. As you can see, right there is the spawn portal. Um, yeah, I couldn't see it, but as I was coming back here to look for another portal again, because that was the only way I'm going to be able to find nether wart. Um, yeah, I have to get nether wart manually. Um, I thought I was going to be able to use that, but it looks like the only way I'm going to be able to get nether wart to spawn or to get nether wart through the uh, atomic reconstructor is going to be getting into the power cables that i've talked about previously like right before i was making it so i'm really right now trying to find one of those pass passageways that uh, has the nether wart in it super dark i know um but this is the only way oh you kind of jump scared me it's the only way I'm going to be able to find it, but I'll be right back whenever I do find that. Speaking of finding it, right here is where it's at. <laughs> awesome. Um, I did find that uh, area that you can make uh, the demon ingots from. Um, that was like right where I found the entrance to this place. But yeah, this is exactly where I needed to be. Oh man, there's two of them. Yes, so I won't have to even worry about making a bunch of it. Looks like I'm getting um, the inferior bulbs as well which is awesome for it's from roots so yeah okay so yeah that's uh that's all I needed so I'm gonna head back and I'll meet you guys back at the base okay so I'm gonna leave this here as a monument to my fail for not testing this out before trying it um, I thought the survivalist generator actually like pushes energy to whatever it's connected to but I guess I'm wrong or that's disabled I don't know, but uh, all we needed was nether wart so now we can get started with making the blast furnace or not the blast furnace sorry the uh, coke oven. Coke oven. Co making concrete. Bags of concrete making rebar. We needed to make this guy. We needed to make red nether brick. Which is just nether brick. Surrounded by that. Okay. Uh, I thought I had some nether brick. Did I throw it in here? Yes, I did. So, yeah. We needed uh, to turn this... into the red nether brick. I don't know how much we needed. I better look into that. Um, rolling machine. Nether brick. Um, we just needed the one. And then that needs to be smelted. And also making the gears. Casting table, um, how do we, is there a, like a gear, just a regular old iron gear? We're going to have to make a cast for that. Alright, I'll be back once I get the cast and everything made, you guys know how that goes. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hopefully have everything set up to be able to make the furnace. Okay, so apparently you can just make a gear straight up. Um, I, I didn't know that, so I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do it that way. Uh, I know it's wasting a little bit of material, but I don't care. I think uh, it's fine. We have a bunch of copper. So I'm actually going to need two 
of the basic gears two basic gears and the rest is history so we can just kind of surround that two gears should be able to make the uh, rolling machine now once we pull out our pistons all right um I don't need all the cobblestone on me. I did put my piston somewhere. There we go. And now we have the manual rolling machine. Okay. Um, manual, as in... This thing comes from Railcraft. Let's search Railcraft. And there's probably some kind of turning handle or something like that. Something. Something to turn this thing. Uh, cutting kit. Do we have to use those? I don't know. Let's place this thing down and see what it actually does. Okay. So. Nothing there. Right. It says click to craft. Oh, okay. You just have to click on it to craft it. Okay, so we have a rebar, and this is going to be used to make the concrete, and the bags of concrete we should be set up to make. Um, I just need to make sure that we have everything. Right, gravel. Where's our gravel? Have I used? No, I haven't used all of our gravel. There we go. Simple, there we go. Just I think it's shapeless, so it doesn't matter. Just make a few of these. I, I don't, I don't know exa exactly how much we're gonna need. No, we're gonna need water. Probably just have to keep coming down here and grabbing, grabbing some water for the concrete. You know what? Let's just look up the coke furnace brick. Okay. There's eight of those. How much exactly can we make? We just need the rebar. Okay. I want to have enough. Oop. Do I have to? Oh, I have to be in the menu for this to craft. It's reasonably fast, though. It's not that big of a deal. Let's grab some uh, some water real quick. Oh, it consumes the bucket. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I'm getting all flustered because I, I messed up so bad just a minute ago. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that. And hopefully that's enough concrete to get us everything we need. Um, I have just about everything else on me. Um, so, was that actually cobblestone? That's just regular smooth stone. And then the ash. So that shouldn't be too hard to make. 64 of those. That should get us just about everything we need. Alright, so this should be everything. Right, okay, yes it is. Okay, let's just see how much we can actually get. Where did that go? Oh, it went over here. So that's only 12 coke brick. Um, we're going to need a little bit more than that. Um, we're going to need a bunch more than that. So I'm going to work on making the rebar. I'm going to get all the coke brick we actually need, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I got all the stuff ready that I needed to get done, and we're going to go ahead and place down the coke brick right here. And get this uh, coke oven up and running. Oops. Right here. Just a standard old 3x3. Three three. And then right click it with your engineer's hammer right in the center. And that texture looks so much different than I've seen before. Looks smooth. That's new. Okay. Um, so just like normal, you can just throw your uh, log in there and it's going to give you creosote oil. It's going to give you coal, or this is going to give you charcoal. Um, we also need to get coal coke running. Oops, don't click at that with your hammer. 
Um, I'm just going to get some regular coal. All of this, and actually turn this into uh, the blocks of coal. It's going to be more efficient that way. And I also made a tank. And the tank is going to be perfect for this. Um, but we're just going to automate this really quick. Let's just throw a hopper here. Um, let's go over, grab another hopper if we can. Let's just make another couple of chests. There we go. And make another hopper. Then we're going to put that hopper on the bottom, connect it to a chest. And we will be pretty automated on this. Let's just go down here. Whoa. Go oh, straight, <laughs> straight, straight down. Um, okay. Let me head back up here real quick. Just fall straight through the floor. All right, we should be able to put this directly onto the chest. Let's put the chest here. Put the hopper connected to that. And now that should export your stuff out. And then up here we can put our coal. And that should be putting that in. Is it not? Should be. Should be automatically putting that in there. I guess that got sucked into the... Oh, it fell through the hole. Maybe it has to go directly in here. Or things have changed. I remember this being automatable. Maybe not. Let's just throw the... Oh, it just don't accept blocks of coal. How do you make coal coke, then? Let's take a look at that real quick. How is coal coke made? Oh, you have to have the advanced version of the coal to be able to get that. Okay. That's perfectly fine. We do have some of that. Let's just throw that in there, then. Either way, we have to have coal coke. Okay. And then we'll just put the tank here. Let's configure it. This side needs to be set to pull. There we go. And we are going to be getting creosote in here. And probably quite a bit of it with uh, this stuff going. But yeah, well, we got uh, quite a lot done today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.